material is actually on. when most people think about wood burning they think that the material is actually on fire but in reality what's burning are the gases that are being produced by the wood being heated does that make sense in preparation of some upcoming episodes where i go more in depth into house fires i want to make sure that everybody understands one of the most common components of most house fires wood gas the main gases that come off of wood when it's heated are going to be hydrogen and carbon monoxide carbon monoxide has a wider flammable range than propane the process of burning wood is called pyrolysis the process of pyrolization begins with applying a heat source to the wood as you're heating the wood you're going to start heating it up to the point where moisture starts coming out of it once the moisture is out of it then it starts breaking down the wood on a cellular level at, at the uh, sugar level with the sugars off gassing flammable gases the more heat you apply to that piece of wood the more gases are going to start becoming off gassed which is going to be your ignitable mixtures if there's a spark or a heat source available and oxygen the fire triangle heat oxygen and a fuel source this burner right here is going to be the heat source it's going to heat up this beaker which is our chamber with the wood inside the gas is then going to travel up through our transfer tube down into i guess you can call this my filter or it's kind of like a distiller but what this is going to do is solid gas right here at this nozzle in order to start the process the only thing we have to do is turn on this burner There's the moisture you were talking about. Okay, so it looks like we got some gas coming out. I can see the smoke crawling through that transfer tube. So I'm going to just turn up the heat right now and see if we get some more off gas. So at this point, yeah, we're off gassing pretty good. We're ready to light it. Acids, hydrocarbons, and other stuff. So I'll light it and see what happens. Wow, it actually worked, huh? All the stains are burned sugars. They can caramelize onions. Just so how we get that brown kind of gooey mess. That's what that is. So you can see here that we don't have the smoke coming out, we just have moisture and wood gas. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to pull this plug and light it straight from the actual container without all that moisture. So this here is going to be the undistilled smoke. Let me just get my protection here so I look safe the particulate from the smoke is actually just separating and falling right to the bottom of the flask and you can see that your smoke is distinctly cleaner coming up but because the solids and the heavy particulates are falling out when it comes out of the tube it's white clean smoke yeah that makes sense look at that this is about five minutes later it's got a lot hotter and it's funny because if you look at the bottom of this flask here, you can see all that sediment dropped to the bottom. It kind of looks like feces almost, and it's still dropping. But anyway, this is five minutes later. I'm going to try to light it now. There you go. Oh, it went out. It's almost self-sustaining. And uh, now coming to the, the second version. Yeah. Uh, Okay, rather I think an upgrade. Uh, this is the same. Wood is at the center, which is burning at the top. As it burns, it releases, or rather when it's heated, it releases its heat. Uh, wood gas. The wood gas passes through this chamber, comes through these nozzles, and then you light the nozzles. So as you light this, heat will increase, increasing the more fumes. Which may ramp up until your wood goes out. So, yeah. Please do share, like, and subscribe. The, the thanks for watching.